Hello and welcome back to the Today's channel. My name is Naomi and in today's video we're going to discuss the Kanban productivity method, which is a visual workflow that is going to help you move projects along and also achieve your goals. So let's dive in. The Kanban method uses a board and cards to provide an overview of all of a project's tasks from start to finish to make sure that nothing gets lost in the shuffle. The concept was pioneered by Toyota in the 1950s and since has been adapted by a huge variety of different industries. And here are the reasons why you might want to consider the Kanban productivity method. You want a simple visual method for keeping complex projects and goals on track. You frequently get overwhelmed at work when everything piles on at once. You work in multi-phase projects or pipelines with lots of moving parts. You need an easy way to keep track of priorities and work status with a team. You relate to things being out of sight and out of mind and need to see all of your tasks to remember them. You feel best when you can visualize all of your work in progress or you really like to drag and drop or use sticky notes. Setting up a Kanban board could not be more simple. It consists of cards organized into columns and these are each in different phases of something like to do, doing and done. As work progresses, you just simply move these cards along those columns from left to right. You can then just evolve this board to be as simple or as complex as your production process requires. And here are the reasons why we believe that the Kanban method is so effective. It ensures that the right work happens at the right time. Even the best projects encounter roadblocks, changing timelines or external events that are going to shift priorities. A Kanban board is going to simply absorb these challenges without disrupting the whole project because anything that's in the in progress column can remain unaffected and the board owner can simply edit or change or rearrange anything that's in the backlog column or whatever you choose to name it. It automatically communicates priorities and work status. A Kanban board gives a very quick visual overview of where you are in a project and anybody that's looking at the board can see at ease what is currently being worked on and what's up next. It makes it easier to match work in progress with current capacity. One of the biggest benefits of being able to see your work in progress is being able to limit the work in progress. Piling in more and more work that your team simply don't have the capacity for is just a recipe for conflicting priorities, stress and overwhelm. And a Kanban board allows you to keep things in the backlog until you actually have capacity to address them in the in progress column. It makes it easier to identify blockers. On a Kanban board, it's really easy to see where things are getting stuck and issues are piling up so that you can work on freeing up those bottlenecks to keep the project moving. It is simple, flexible and scalable. The Kanban method is extremely flexible, whether you're working on work projects, you've maybe got home renovations or you're even applying for a job. With the ability to set the workflow steps of your choice, you can use a Kanban board to pretty much map any process and get started. And although the Kanban method is incredibly simple and easy to get started with, here are some tips you might find helpful. Organize your backlog by priority, because this is gonna make it really clear whenever you have some space free up in your in progress column, what is gonna get moved over from backlog next. Keep your board up to date. This is a really common problem where people set up productivity systems and methods, and it looks great in the beginning, but if they're not actually giving it the attention that it needs throughout the process, it can very quickly become useless. If you're in a team, identify a person that is directly responsible for keeping that board up to date. And if you're using it for your personal reasons, then that person is you. At this point, a weekly review would probably be helpful. And we are gonna create a full video on that soon. However, in the meantime, I'll link a helpful article in the description box below. Limit your Kanban cards to one person at a time. The reason for this is that if you have two people on a card, it can be a little bit confusing as to who's responsible for moving it forward. It's better to take tasks that need to be broken down into smaller steps and have cards that are allocated to each person responsible for that part of the process. Keep your Kanban board in plain sight. Ensure that everybody that's involved has the right permissions, knows exactly where it is, and checks it often in order to look for or add updates. Now let's have a quick chat about how you can use Kanban with Todoist. With each of your projects in Todoist, you have the ability to change them between views so you can choose them to look like a list or like a board. Todoist is available on all of your devices so your team can manage and access the boards from anywhere. You can also effortlessly switch between list layout and board layout at any time. Our drag and drop features make it incredibly easy for you to move sections around, switch cards between sections, you can even create new sections and switch cards in there so really you can make your Kanban board anything that you like. And since Kanban boards are all about progressing everything in your lists from left to right, 
then once you get to that far right column where something is deemed as complete, you could either just leave the card in there or the task as we call it in that column, or you can choose to complete it, which would make it disappear. Now there is an option to have your completed tasks always toggled on. All you need to do is go to the view icon and select completed tasks. And that is everything you need to know about the Kanban method. If you find this video helpful, then please leave a comment or give us a thumbs up. It always means so much when you do, and maybe even consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye. I hope I don't have Nutella in my teeth. Are we ready? We're ready. Well, this is too long. One more time. How many times do I need to say those words? What am I doing with my fingers? Why, oh why is it always raining?